一定要认明 s o l u t e s 原厂防伪标。赛。First question: Does fish oil have nuclear radiation problems? Regarding answering the question on the on the fish oils, two important things that we need to take into consideration. Number one is our raw material is coming from South America, which is very far away from Asia.、Um, but number two, the most important thing is that from a quality standpoint,、uh, we also measure for parameters that are called nucleotides. It could be encountered in these kind of substances. We test our materials to make sure、uh, we can secure the highest quality in the products that we manufacture for our clients. So no concern at all. Okay. 对了，也想问一下坦博士，很多客人会不知道自己呢，在挑选鱼油的时候要挑选综合型的 EPA 加 DHA 鱼油，还是纯 EPA 的鱼油？那博士有没有建议大家有没有什么简单的方式可以做一下区别？其实鱼油会出现在世界上，就是因为我们可能没有办法吃到那么多的鱼油，但是又知道鱼油很好的时候，我们针对这种没有特殊的，就是一般人，这样你就吃 EPA 加 DHA， 我们吃这种综合型的。那 EPA 纯的 EPA， 它其实就特别适合我们有特殊需求、特定需求的，尤其像是银发族啦，或者是我们觉得说，哎，身体不是那么的爽快的这些人。当然，这种我们属于有特殊需求的，你就可以吃纯 EPA。所以更简单一点说，知道自己应该要吃纯 EPA 的人，当然我们现在有品质很好的 EPA 可以选择啦。那对于没有这种特殊需求的，那我就吃一般综合型的 EPA 加 DHA 就好了。Third question: Which fish oil would most American choose? EPA with DHA or pure EPA? I gonna answer the first, the last question first. I would, of course,、uh, choose Soltex、uh, oil. And、um, the question is is not easy to answer, but uh, uh, because EPA and DHA both molecules have a specific purpose in the body, so both are important. In general, the majority of people, not only in America but also around the world, they consume both EPA and DHA. And it's important that if your target is general health, you are normally going to choose a product that is balanced between EPA and DHA, high concentrated, of course. For those people that are looking to target more specific health conditions, normally they choose more specific ratios higher in EPA than in DHA. Next question: What are the main differences between supercritical fluid extraction fish oil and molecular distillation fish oil? We need to understand that、uh, the the treatment of the oil that、uh, using molecular distillation and supercritical CO2 technology is completely different. The supercritical CO2 uses CO2 、um, in supercritical state, which is a、uh, uh, green technology、uh, that. Is、uh, considered、uh, not harmful for the oil and also for the environment, and uh, it, uh, it uses this、uh, CO2 in a way that uh, it is uh, the behavior is in between a liquid and a gas is、uh, able to separate and concentrate more specifically this omega-3 CPA and DHA, while the molecular distillation is a is a technology. That is using、uh, more aggressive conditions in the in the oil, taking into account temperature and pressure, and、uh, compared to the CO2, and、uh, definitely the the result is、uh, is、uh, higher quality with the CO2 technology. The final question. 那谭博士，分子蒸馏过去比较被诟病的是高温导致变质或是鱼油不稳定。那科技的进步，我们发现市面上呢有出现低温分子蒸馏，那这样是不是就不会有这样子的问题呢？大家现在在市面上会听到的低温，其实它是一种说话的艺术。相较于传统的高温，它温度变低了，所以它就把它取名为低温。但我们实际上来看，我们很担心这一类的欧米伽三类的油，它会因为温度而破坏。其实，在传统的蒸馏里面，它都会用到一百五十度、两百度。甚至更高的温度，它要让这些油被蒸出来。可是低温就是把它降一点点，也许降到一百二、一百三，或者是好，就算是一百度，它也是相对于传统来说，它有变低温了
。但是大家觉得这样子到底能不能够保护我们这些不饱和脂肪酸？其实还是很有难度的哦，因为超临界萃取。还有超临界流体在整个萃取过程当中，它是使用到三十几度到四十度，这个其实才是相对于我们来说更好的低温。否则我们的低温，我相信很多消费者其实心目中认为的低温是也许十几度甚至零下，我们觉得是低温，但这其实并不会发生在萃取里面。所以我们要知道这种所谓的低温蒸馏，它其实有埋伏了一些比较特殊的话术在里面。一定要认明 ，Solutex 原厂防伪标。赞。